I've always been interested in art and culture. Going to um, new shows is always something to look forward to, so and it's good to stimulate the mind too, and it's good for memory as well. Former university lecturer Darren Tofts has always loved art, but now it's also his therapy. To keep his brain active, he regularly attends shows with his carer, Deb. You know, the NDIS has been massively important for us because it's allowed us to have Deb come twice a week. All right, Del, come on. Darren was diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2017. He was 57. <laughs> Darren's always been a quite anxious person and I just suspected that it was anxiety. And so I spent a lot of time trying to get him to see a psychologist because I thought a lot of the time when people are anxious, they, they become forgetful and they become a bit disorganised. Yeah, come on. I used to get very frustrated, um, as Lisa will tell you, uh, about um, forgetting things or leaving things behind or uh, losing them. At the time, we didn't know what was going on until we realised that something was going on up here. Something vegan. Yeah, it was really good. Vegan egg. It took about five years for Darren to be diagnosed. Because dementia is more common in older people, doctors can mistake symptoms in younger people as mental illness, such as depression or anxiety. Alzheimer's is not just something that affects old people. There's over 27,000 people in Australia living with this illness. So often we're faced with this situation where we don't know if it's a developing neurological disorder. In many situations, the blood tests, the brain scans, even the memory testing can be close to normal. Now a team of Royal Melbourne Hospital researchers led by Professor Dennis Velikoulis has discovered a simple blood test could determine if a patient has dementia or a psychiatric illness. The test measures the level of neurofilament light, or NFL, in the blood. That's a protein which leaks out from brain cells only when they are damaged or dying. Well, people who are healthy have normal levels of uh, NFL because there's no uh, brain cells dying. In many neurological disorders, particularly in dementia, there are brain cells that are dying and releasing NFL. Last week, the team presented at a national psychiatry conference in Hobart. Their hope is that after more research, even GPs might have access to this technology. We may be able to have a blood test that helps us um, reduce the, the patient's sort of diagnostic journey and the time to diagnosis. That's, that's very exciting, yes. Yeah, I think it's one of the finest things that could uh, emerge out of that uh, kind of experimentation. When you're not quite sure what's going on, it's, it can be quite frightening. And then when you do find out, no, well, fear perhaps goes away. But... The test won't just help people with dementia. We'll also pick up other rare neurological conditions. I think it's really good to feel healthy. And I'd heard that it is good for your cognition. Cycling, I just like the experience. I've always liked it. And I'm sort of a road cyclist. In 2014, Gary Wishart thought he had anxiety. But as his condition worsened, he became more confused. I was sort of thinking, I don't think that's really true. It doesn't represent, I think, what I felt I was. Um, but yet it was something that they hung the, the, the hat on. And I just thought, well, well, I'll go with that. And if that's what they think, I'll take the drugs and all that sort of stuff. I'll have some ham. His wife, Kath, who is a GP, searched for answers until she found one. He also had tremor um, of his hands, very shaky, uh, which they said was just benign resting tremor. And he started to be off with his balance. So I knew that wasn't right. They tested him for everything under the sun. He was a medical mystery. I'm pretty sure that if we didn't push on, if I didn't push on and seek more advice, he'd probably have um, probably died. Specialists now believe Gary has cerebral vasculitis. The neurofilament light blood test would have unveiled his condition much earlier. It took us a year at least for someone to believe that he had it. And I'm medical. Um, but if you could find that a year or two earlier and 
lucky for us it's treatable but you know you could get help hello hello welcome what are you doing in your bag with treatment gary's now well enough to care for his children again i feel quite amazing i i know that i'm not right i'm not perfect i'm not 100 percent back to where i was i think when i first started to get my license back which was probably about two and a half years ago you're mostly just supposed to stick to your local area um so i picked up the kids um, and that was fantastic. Okay, so... I think for two or three years there, I probably didn't have a husband. I was a carer. I've really enjoyed transitioning from the carer role into the wife role. There is no cure for dementia, but knowing that, Darren and Lisa have chosen to embrace life like never before. Our quality of life has improved. It hasn't gotten worse. It was bad before because we didn't know what was going on. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Have a lovely day. Every day counts. Every opportunity to spend time with our family, every chance to have fun with our friends. Because those things can disappear in the blink of an eye. Um, so if anything, the diagnosis has been a blessing for us because it's made us really value what we have and 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 live our best lives. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.